So continuing on our trends discussion, I am so excited to bring you bathroom trends that we're seeing for 2024. And I think you're gonna like them. I know I'm very intrigued by them. So the first thing on our list for 2024 bathroom trends is unusual extras. I love this thought. It kind of goes with that whole thought around, you know, bringing in unique and creative pieces, how we talked about in design trends, not being cookie cutter. And I feel like in a bathroom, sometimes it's hard to find those really interesting and unique pieces. So some ways that you could bring them in would be through a really interesting light fixture or sconces, perhaps some really beautiful, interesting mirror details that you could bring in. Sometimes we think artwork would be great to bring into a space, but in a bathroom, you can't really do that. So maybe something of a sculptural element that you can bring in, or even thinking about a tile or a marble selection that will really just stand out and be something a little bit different. So really trying to create a unique and interesting appeal in the bathroom space is one of the trends that we're seeing. So I have to say this next trend is perfectly timed with a comment that I received on a different video I have. And they talked about how they didn't like having a glass shower. They felt exposed and it got really dirty and it was hard to maintain. And there was, you know, valid points. I have a glass shower. It is a lot more work. And it was interesting because on the trend list, this is why I bring this up, it actually said that glass showers are kind of going out of style come 2024, which I haven't seen that happen yet, but seeing it showing up on some trends lists is really curious. And they're saying that it's more of an enclosed shower. So think of like a steam room when you kind of go in and it's, it's more enclosed. I mean, you can have a steam room that's glass, but it's thinking about more behind walls with just a door or there are some really beautiful now this would be with a huge space where you kind of like walk into the shower, kind of like around a curve. I've seen those are gorgeous. Again, you have to have massive square footage for that, but just a closed in shower, we've seen that before. And apparently that is something that is becoming trendy again. So that I actually thought was really interesting and perfectly timed to be honest with that comment. Just a brief pause. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so a theme that we've been seeing throughout all of these discussions that we've had is this movement towards more natural and organic, you know, textures and materials. And that continues in our bathroom trends. So we're really seeing this warm up of overall aesthetic, you know, very um, nice natural wood tones using more of a natural material for your backsplash perhaps, or, you know, the stone in your washroom to be warmer and to be really organic and, and have that nature feeling in it. So it's really going back to some of those more, you know, natural color palettes, you know, those neutral warm colors. In our color trends video, we talked about that mushroom tone. And then we also with the bathrooms are looking at beautiful natural woods. So it is really a combination of all the trends that we're talking about. And that will also translate to your bathroom. And there's a tile that I mentioned, I said it wrong and people I, I even Googled it, so I'll just put the name on the screen. Those tiles are super hot to be bringing into your bathroom as well. I love the look of those. If anyone has them, let me know how they are for cleaning because that would definitely be a curious like thought for me is just how easy are they to clean, but I think they look absolutely stunning. They add a lot of visual you know, detail and it adds to that organic feeling in the space, which I am loving right now. Continuing with that, you know, organic and natural is this rustic element. So really this juxtaposition on bringing in some really rustic pieces with that already more natural color palette is something else that we're seeing on trend for 2024. I saw this beautiful image. It kind of looked like a bench, but it was actually, you know, a counter that was just with that more raw wood look with the basin sitting on top of it and just kind of a little bit more open and organic. Kind of looked like something you would see in, you know, a ski resort type of a bathroom. I just really liked it. I think that's the second time I've brought up ski resort. It definitely is giving me like Collingwood, Ontario vibes when I see this. So yes, I'm really liking this rustic element, this natural stone that we're seeing in the space, these, you know, more rustic wood type pieces. I think it's a really beautiful look for a space. And I don't know, I like a washroom to feel warm 
and cozy. I mean, especially if you're taking a nice long hot bubble bath, it's nice to be in a cozy space. So I totally can appreciate this trend and I am here for it. I'm here for the trends of 2024. I personally am really liking the direction that we're going with our colors and our design trends, our kitchen trends, and now our bathroom trends. Something that is always important in our spaces is lighting and the bathroom is no different. So one of the trends we're seeing for our 2024 bathrooms is this unique lighting, decorative lighting trend. And it almost feels like taking the pendants that you would normally put in your island and incorporating them into your bathroom design or perhaps a really interesting sconce. So really thinking about kind of that, back to that unique and interesting and unusual element. So decorative lighting and creative decorative lighting is really hot for 2024 with our bathrooms. So a trend that we talked about in design trends is creating this spa-like oasis. And our bathroom is the key area to really incorporate the spa-like design elements into your space. So how can we bring some of these spa-like feeling elements into your bathroom and you don't have to have a massively big bathroom to do this think about something like a heated towel rack having those beautiful scents throughout the space i actually mentioned uh in the gift the holiday um the holiday guide that i created a beautiful scent aromatherapy bringing that into your bathroom will help add the scents if you are doing a full renovation Think about something like heated floors. Again, doesn't need to be a big space, but adding in heated floors is awesome. And if you're doing an extensive renovation, you could get into having a beautiful steam shower. I would love that. I think that would be fantastic. And maybe have a, like a built-in bench in it, really feel that spa vibe in your bathroom. So there's a lot of ways you can go upgrading everything from just the accessories within your space, you know, having that right kind of color and calm and serene mood through the paint scheme and bringing candles and having the beautiful aromatherapy scents. You know, hanging eucalyptus in your shower gives a beautiful aroma as well if you obviously we don't have any problems with scents and can really give that spa-like vibe even to just an existing washroom. So there's lots of ways to really give that spa vibe to your space and you know you can take it from those easy elements to change to more of a massive, you know, renovation where you really do change the whole feel and luxury of your spa. And if you have the room and the space and you're thinking about doing a soaker tub, I highly recommend. I love mine I at least once a week, Sunday nights, my time, candles, glass of wine, soaker tub, perfect and well, start to a new week. <laughs> So I want to also mention that when we talk about our natural neutral tones, another trend that we're seeing for 2024 is still this neutral feeling, but more in that color palette. So earth-like color palette. So think blues and greens and those bronzes that we've talked about, those, you know, different colors that are found in nature are still, you know, a way to bring in color in that natural color palette. And those are very much on trend. I think about those beautiful tiles that we're seeing and something in a beautiful blue, like a soft muted blue or a soft muted green could look really, really stunning in your bathroom. And these are also very much on trend. So although it is very neutral, doesn't mean neutral has to be beige. You can absolutely bring color, but we are definitely seeing the color palette as more of a you know, related to nature and related to natural colors and very subdued and very uh, calm and serene is I think the theme that we're finding just across the board when it comes to all of our trends. This one, I'm not sure if people are going to like love, hate. I'm not even sure what I think about it yet, <laughs> but I saw it come up and I had to include it because I thought it was interesting. It's a really, you know, creative use of space. And that is taking our, our bathtubs and incorporating and making them more multifunctional. So what I mean by this is adding, you know, a storage, like if you have a bench or you have some extra space kind of in behind, I feel like this is good for awkward bathrooms that end up having alcoves where you can add like some shelving and really make it not just a bathtub space, but also a, you know, storage area. I think the key takeaway from this trend is adding in more creative storage into our washroom spaces. I think often we have, you know, a 
cupboard or the vanity, and that's kind of our storage. So I think it's really looking at, you know, increasing the storage capacity in a washroom and just looking at different and more creative ways of doing that. And I mean, I'm here for that. I incorporating it into your tub. I mean, that's a major renovation anyways, but if you are doing that, there might be a really good opportunity to use some otherwise underutilized space and you could maybe put some towels or some, you know, a bath stuff. <laughs> bath stuff in in that space so i don't know you let me know if you think this one is is a yay or a nay so this one is i feel like it's one of those things that we've always said don't do but now it kind of seems like something that is becoming more on trend so that is mixing metals and different finishes of metals and really incorporating more of a lived in over time appeal I feel like this would definitely take a discerning eye because I think it could go kind of off the rails and not look good if not really executed correctly. But I do think when it's done well, it could look fantastic. So I think what's great about mixing metals is it can really help give you that lived in over time look if done correctly. And I think you get that beautiful patina on some of the metals that can look really gorgeous. And that's where you get that kind of mixing of metal um, within your, your faucets and your accessories through the washroom. So definitely an interesting one. I think it would take a really good decorating eye to really pull it together quite nicely and I think that's kind of interesting we're we're definitely seeing a lot of these things that we used to you know never do um, that we're doing now so I think that's fascinating I love going over all of these trends I think they're really fun to see what's coming down the pipe for 2024 so if you enjoyed this video check on my kitchen design video for 2024 and also take a look at my design trends for 2024 we've got a whole bunch of them right now all right take care bye